We've now talked about quantities that you can calculate if you have units divided into multiple groups. We've talked about this idea of a sum of squares within that reflects to what extent there's variation within each group. And we've discussed this quantity sum of squares between, which reflects how much variation there is between the groups. And we discussed that if you add those two quantities together, sum of squares within plus sum of squares between, you get the sum of squares total, which just reflects the overall variability among your units again, the overall variability in your entire data set. But why are we talking about these quantities? The reason we're talking about these quantities is that we'd like to use them to come up with a test. Specifically, we want to test the null hypothesis that the mean is the same in each group. We want to build a test statistic that uses the information in the sum of squares within and the sum of squares between to help us figure out how surprised we'd be by a particular data set if that null hypothesis that all the group means are the same is true. Again, if the null hypothesis that the group means are the same is true, how surprised are we by this data? We want to come up with a way to quantify that using the sum of squares within and the sum of squares between. So intuitively, intuitively, how would we do that? Well, if the sum of squares between is really big, that means the groups are really far apart from each other, right? So the further apart the groups are from each other, the more surprised we are by that if the null hypothesis is actually true. But that's not enough. It's not enough just to say my test statistic is the sum of squares between because, for example, if we were talking about the heights and we split the heights into uh, groups based on, say, male, female, uh, if we uh, wrote down those heights in terms of centimeters rather than inches, we'd get a different number for sum of squares between, but that doesn't reflect anything different. Um, inches versus centimeters about our data set. So we need a quantity that's not going to depend on the units that we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how big that SSB, the sum of squares between, is relative to the sum of squares within. How far apart are the groups from each other relative to how much variation there is in each group? Now, often the way people go about thinking about this test statistic is by creating what's called an ANOVA table. Importantly, I don't think of ANOVA as a method in itself, but rather just a way to organize the information from a particular test. So an ANOVA table stands for Analysis of Variance, ANOVA. But I think of this table as just a way to organize the information, to organize, to structure the way we get from these quantities we've already discussed, some of squares between and some of squares within, to a test statistic for this null hypothesis that the mean is the same in each group.